right, this is one of those times when you think your camera's rolling and it's not. <sighs> that was really frustrating. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I love strawberry shortcake. The little biscuits, the whipped cream, the strawberries all glistening, yum. And with strawberry season upon us, I thought what a great time to make strawberry shortcake, but I wanted to put a little spin on it. Here's what I want to do. I want to make a strawberry shortcake cake. Cake, strawberry shortcake. Does that sound right? Strawberry shortcake cake. Anyway, that's what we're doing. Strawberry shortcake in a cake form. I'm making a eight inch vanilla cake and we're going to top it with loads of whipped cream and strawberries. See what we get. For our vanilla cake, we're going to start off by using one and a quarter cups of cake flour. If you don't have cake flour, you can make your own. And for every one cup of all-purpose flour, take two tablespoons of the flour out and add two tablespoons of cornstarch. That's how you make cake flour. I like using cake flour because it makes a really, really moist cake. If you don't have cornstarch and you can't substitute for cake flour, use all-purpose flour. That's all right. It just might be a little heavier of a cake. So today I'm using my stand mixer and I'm gonna put in our cake flour, one and a quarter cups of our cake flour. This is two thirds cup of granulated sugar. We have a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Remember, this is just gonna be a one layer cake. And I'm just gonna turn on my stand mixer just to mix everything around. And to our dry ingredients, I'm gonna be adding a quarter cup of unsalted butter, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and a little bit of milk. I have a half cup here. We're gonna only be using a quarter of a cup right now. And now we're gonna mix this till everything's combined for about one minute. And now I'm gonna add in the rest of the milk, two tablespoons of oil. I'm using um, avocado oil, but you can use vegetable or canola up to you, and one egg. And we're going to mix this until it's just combined. We do not want to over mix. So I've gone ahead and I've greased an eight inch round cake pan and I've lined it with parchment. And let's take our mixture and get that in here so we can get it into the oven. Give it a couple shakes to spread it out. A couple drops on the counter to get out any air bubbles. And into the oven we go. I'm going to bake this at 350 for about 20, 22 minutes. Our cake is out of the oven and it's looking really good. I'm just gonna let it cool right in the pan. This is the perfect time to get our strawberries sliced up and ready and to get our whipped cream going. Our recipe calls for one and a half cups of sliced strawberries. So I'm gonna slice the top off and I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna cut them in relatively thin slices like this lengthwise. Now we're gonna take our sliced strawberries and we're gonna put them in a small bowl. And to them, I'm adding a teaspoon of granulated sugar. Now the sugar that I'm adding is going to help bring out all the juices of the strawberries. So we're gonna mix this around. Oops, the one to get away. But the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a tablespoon, give or take, of strawberry jam. We're going to mix this all around and we're just going to let it sit until we're ready to put the whipped cream on the cake after it's cooled. Why do they always want to get away? Now that our strawberries are done, let's get our whipped cream together. I have one cup of heavy whipping cream that I'm adding to my stand mixer and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of confectioner sugar. I like using confectioner sugar as opposed to granulated sugar because I don't want my whipped cream to be grainy. And um, we're gonna also add a half a teaspoon, I'm guesstimating here, of pure vanilla extract. And we're gonna mix this until soft peaks form. I just love watching whipped cream come together. There's just something about it, I don't know, maybe I'm a little weird, but it just I just love to watch it whip up. I think our whipped cream is done, let's see. Okay, so it, as you can see, it's hanging on to the whisk attachment. 
And that's exactly what we want. So let's take our whipped cream and we're gonna transfer it to the small bowl here. And we're gonna keep it in the refrigerator until it's time to assemble our cake. <sighs> All right, this is one of those times when you think your camera's rolling and it's not. <laughs> so you didn't get to see me put on the whipped cream. You didn't get to see me put on the strawberries, but this is the end result. So I just wanna put it out there. When you are a content creator that bakes or makes food, um, if things don't go as planned, there's really no going back. Well, I guess you could, you could start all over again, which is something I just wasn't really prepared to do. I worked hard filming and then up to the point where I thought the camera was on and it wasn't, oh God. And I just didn't wanna do it all over again. And I, I thought, well, I think it's a good thing to know that we all make mistakes. And I just wanted to put it out there. I, I think with the cake, each of the components on its own was good. The vanilla cake, the sweetened whipped cream, and the strawberries. Um, it just didn't turn out how I had envisioned it up here. Um, when I, I put the whipped cream on and that was fine, but then I put on the strawberries and the way that the strawberries just kind of flattened out the whipped cream, I really wanted like this, like th this big mound, this beautiful mound of strawberries on whipped cream. And it just didn't work out that way. And um, so I don't know if I would actually make this again, but if I did, I would not put on the whipped cream or the strawberries until right before I was about to serve it. And it would have to all be eaten right away. This is not the kind of cake that you can just keep in the refrigerator and slice up the next day. Well, thanks for joining me today as I made this strawberry shortcake cake, mistakes and all. Let me know in the comments if you've ever thought you were filming, but your camera was off, it'll make me feel a lot better. Cause right now I'm like, oh. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and um, click on the notification bell. And that way you won't miss out on any videos. And I promise I'll make sure that my camera's rolling the next time. All right, have a great day.